Hi guys, this is BradM73 and I'm back again for another episode of Let's Play and it's uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2. So, um, I'm trying to remember where we left off last time. I think it was Baron. Yeah, I think we drove down to Baron. Um, so, let's go to the job market. Get some try to earn some more money here and um, maybe I'll try to go down to somewhere let's see burn okay all right let's see where we have the opportunity to go just everything is going to Dijon Dijon is that where the mustard comes from I don't want to go to back to Strasbourg because we already went there um, well, the best job goes to Dijon, so we'll take that one. And right now we're just trying to get as much money as we possibly can. And I apologize, I kind of sound stuffed up. Uh, my nose is a little bit stuffed up today, so I my voice kind of sounds a little bit nasally. So I apologize, but... Um, oh, great. And it's raining. Okay, we got our trailer. Okay. Turn our wipers on with the P key. And hit our lights. Because we will probably get a ticket. If we don't have our lights on. How do we get out of here? I think that's it over there. Okay. Off we go. The rain's pretty cool in this game, um, compared to other driving simulators uh, I've played, or even like race car simulators and things like that. Um, here you can kind of see it on the window, kind of streaking down. It's kind of a nice effect. Alright, <clears throat> it's kind of tough to see. I want to pull out in front of somebody. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that car just flew right past us. I cleared right, I swear. You guys saw it. That's good because we would have lost like 400, 400 euros um, from the crash damage probably. Phew. Alright, well, we got lucky there. This, this nostril thing is making me mad, so I hope I'm not, like, sniffing and hacking and coughing into the mic the whole time, so if I have a few sniffs and coughs and hacks, I'm sorry. So I was looking through some, uh, some mods today. And uh, kind of like some some suggestions on, um, you know, what are some good mods to uh, to try out. Oh, actually, I don't need to stop. It's a green light. Hurry up and go before I get a ticket. So um, yeah, I was looking at some uh, some different trucks. I noticed that uh, in the mod community there are a few. Uh, trucks, you know, truck brands that aren't, you know, in the actually in the game. So I wasn't really sure how the game handles that. I don't want to really install something without knowing and having my game explode. Um, I saw that there's like a winter texture pack, I think. Um, that that actually looked pretty cool. I'd like to try that out. There's also like a look like a high definition roads mod. Um, which also looks pretty cool. Um, and it, it just looks like it changes the, the road textures and the stripes and things like that. So I might look into that, uh, and see about giving that a try. Um, let's 
and there looked like there were also some new routes um seemed like there were some in the czech republic and there's like a russian map pack um and like a europe map pack but you know in the information that i could find on it it didn't look like there was a whole lot you know, it didn't look like it really expanded that much. I, th I think I read that it only added like eight cities or something like that. Uh, it could have been more, but uh, I need to ins I need to explore the ones that are already in the game before I go off and try to get new ones. So let's see, it's 2,100 hours, so that would be about. Uh, what is that? 7 p.m.? Yeah, I think it's around 7 p.m. Is that a big lake over there? Yeah, it is. That's a pretty big lake. It's one of the larger lakes I've seen in the game so far. It's kind of cool. Be nice if it was sunny out and we could see what was going on. Well, here the rain's stopping, so maybe we'll... maybe. Maybe we'll have another couple hours of daylight. Of course, now we're getting away from the, the lake there. Uh, slow down. Yeah, you really got to be careful going through these uh, quick turns. We're kind of in a really turny area. And uh, you do have to be careful. I was going around a really sharp turn the other day. Um, in my you know like kind of on my testing account or my testing uh, profile on your truck simulator 2 and I ended up actually my trailer caught the front of a car and I got a crash I got a ticket for a crash and then I did like a percent or two damage on the trailer so I ended up having you know, I ended up losing like another 250 euros it was like you know almost 700 euros off so I wasn't too happy about that. And I was not paying attention. Oh, the stars are all already out. And it's only 8 p.m. We must be on standard time. <laughs> Daylight savings time is not in effect. Seems like the uh, night cycle in this game is fairly short. Um, I guess it kind of depends on where you are within a certain time zone. But um, you know, it starts getting lighted around 4 a.m., which... Here in the United States where I live, it definitely doesn't get, get uh, light that early. Um, you know, in the summertime, especially if it's right around the solstice, um, when we are in daylight savings time, it usually starts getting bright here uh, in the United States around, I don't know, 6, 6 a.m. maybe? And then it'll, you know, the sun doesn't set until, gosh, 9.30 p.m. or so. Um, you know, and it'll be, it'll generally be light out, you know, at least light enough where you don't have to, you know, drive with your headlights on until pretty close to 10 p.m. But this time of year, you know, especially in December, um, around the winter solstice, um, you know, it gets, it, you know, it gets light out at about, oh gosh, eight. 8 o'clock, maybe 8.30, maybe even later than, yeah, about 8 o'clock, I guess. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, the sun sets at like 5.30, and I hate that. Oh, my gosh. I wish we would stay on daylight savings time all the time, because really, uh, you know, I, I usually leave work around 6 p.m. Or, or, or shortly thereafter, and I just hate the fact that you get up in the morning, and it's dark, and you... Uh, go home from work and it's dark. And I find that it definitely affects 
affects my mood. I kind of feel more, uh, uh, I just feel like hibernating all weekend and waking up in the, in the spring when everything's warm out and I miss going outside and, uh, you know, doing things outdoors. I miss the warm weather. Oh, I want it to be, <laughs> I want it to be warm. And this week it's supposed to be really cold. Um, I think the low on Monday night is supposed to be, I'm not sure if it's maybe Sunday morning or Monday night, but it's supposed to be down to like seven degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'm not sure what that is in Celsius, but it's probably close to minus 20 Celsius. I'd have to use my brain and try to do the conversion, but anyway, seven degrees Fahrenheit is flipping cold. That's really, really cold, and I'm not looking forward to it at all. So, we just had uh, last weekend we had 65 degrees. Today it was uh, uh, probably a little bit over 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and um, so it's you know quite quite warm. Um, I think 60 degree. Let's see, I'm trying to remember what 60 degrees is in Fahr or in Celsius. Uh, I think it was around. I want to say it's around 15 degrees Celsius, something like that. Oh, I need to slow down. The speed limit just dropped there to 50 kilometers an hour, so I don't want to get a ticket. It seems like, uh, you know, sometimes in this game, you just get a ticket randomly. Um... You know, I know a lot of times, you know, you'll hit these speed zones, especially on the on the autobahns and and the highways, and uh, you know, you'll pass, you'll see, you'll hit a speed zone, and then you'll kind of see like the little box on the side of the road uh, for the speed cameras, and they'll give you, you know, they'll give you a ticket. Um, and I can't, I haven't really figured out what the threshold is on that. Um, here, I'll turn my high beams on. <clears throat> I haven't really. Uh, I haven't figured out what the threshold is. Like, you know, sometimes I know with speed cameras they don't automatic. You know, if you're going 50 kilometers an hour, they don't automatically give you a ticket at like 51. They might give you a ticket at like 55 or 54, um, or you know, whatever they're set for. Um, I know, you know, they can set speed cameras for literally a mile per hour over, but um, I, I think that's kind of crappy if if they do do that do do that um, but yeah in the game I haven't really you know I've, I've sped quite often um, you know through a city or something like that and I have not got a, gotten a ticket and then all of a sudden you'll just randomly get a ticket so I don't know if I'm just not seeing the speed cameras or you know what the deal is I haven't seen any police cars at all in this game not a single one and I know uh you know, when I was in Europe previously, you know, you'd see them fairly frequently. Um, not necessarily ticketing you, but, um, you know, you, you'll see them. But I haven't seen a single one, so... Um, somebody needs to tell SCS Software to uh, include that in Euro Truck Simulator 3 when it comes out in a year or two or whatever. Um... Yeah, I'm generally enjoying the game. It's a nice, uh, you know, pretty nice simulator. It's uh, quite a bit of fun, pretty relaxing for the most part. Um, and I do like the management aspect of it um, as well. Uh, I was playing around a little bit with my other account, um, and uh, and we're going to get there with this one. And, and I would really like my Let's Play account to kind of take over from my other one because uh you know i just i wanted to play the other game just so i kind of knew what i was uh you know getting ready for um and uh you know could set a few goals or, or at least you know provide a bit more of a direction so i wasn't just aimlessly wandering through the game um with you guys and um you know because that can get boring and you know not only for me but for you i'm sure so, um, yeah, I was kind of wanting to get um, get myself familiarized with the game a bit and, uh, and go from there. All right, so we've only got 12 kilometers to go. 
And what is going on up here? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, there's our destination right there. Well, that was a kind of a quick trip. It was a really quick trip, and we didn't even take the highway. Alright. Okay, we're good to go. I might need to do another episode. Seventy kilometers an hour. All right. And sometimes I seem like I'm, you know, like I was just going sixty there, and I kind of felt like I was going a little bit too fast. Sometimes you feel like a rocket in this sucker. Um, you know, you're really hauling some some butt. So you kinda kinda gotta be careful. Especially, you know, going around some tight curves. I mean you can lose control of your rig. Um I don't know if you can actually overturn a rig. Um I've gotten in some pretty bad accidents in my uh in my testing account. And um oh no. Ah, we'll just drive around really quick and pick up the other locations. Let's see here. Uh, Dijon's pretty. Oh, uh, it doesn't look like there's any. Doesn't look like there's anything to unlock here. Oh no! I'm gonna get a ticket. Oh. Now oh, bollocks. I'm just gonna blow it. If I'm gonna get a ticket, I better earn it. Yeah, I don't, I can't really remember in Europe, um, here in the United States, when you are at a red light, and not always, sometimes you, you can't, but, but usually, if you're at a red light, um, you, you know, you can make a, like a, like in this situation, on this turn, like, it, even if the light was red, we could make a, you know, we could legally make a right turn, unless there's a sign posted saying, you know, no turn on red, um, now you wouldn't be able to make a left turn across traffic, but um, you know if you're turning in, you know, right into the immediate lane, um, you can do that. But it seems like in this game uh, they give you a nice big ticket uh, when you try to do that. So, um, and I noticed like this sign's got the little red triangle, so I'm not really sure what that means in France. Um, you know, in each European country can be different. So, I noticed, I noticed that the last light there was kind of like a yellow diamond kind of a box. So I don't know. Maybe that means we can turn on red. I don't know. I'm I'm too afraid to try. Maybe I'll try that out on my test account, or maybe we'll try it. Maybe we'll try it in the next episode if we see it. And hopefully we won't get a ticket. I hate losing euros though, um, especially right now because we need to save up to buy our first truck. Okay. close to that tra that trailer let's try to move it over just a little bit um uh, trying to concentrate okay here we go we sh now I should get lined up pretty 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 darn good okay that's better much better.
All right, there we go. Well, that was a short one. Um, I think I'm going to do another episode after this. Um, oh, and we... Oh, wait a second. We'll level up here. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and we'll do high value cargo. I want to get as much uh, money as possible, so we'll we'll do that. All right, so we're up to thirteen thousand euros, and we just leveled up, so that's cool. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna do another episode, uh, so please come back for the next one. Um, I'm Brad M73. This is Euro Truck Simulator 2, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, all. And please, uh, if you like the videos, please, please, please give me a thumbs up uh, and subscribe, and uh, I'll keep pumping them out. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.